The overall goal of this procedure is to establish a mouse model of neuropathic pain following peripheral nerve damage. This is accomplished by first anesthetizing the mouse, placing the hind leg in the appropriate position and exposing the sciatic nerve. Next, a defined nerve injury is introduced by suturing two branches of the sciatic nerve, leaving the third branch intact. In this video, the tibial and common perineal nerves are sutured and cut, while the sural nerve is spared. However, other combinations can be applied. After nerve injury, the mice are placed in a cylinder container on a wire mesh table and allowed to habituate. The mice are then tested using the von Frey assay, which allows a quantitative measure of induced mechanical allodynia. The calibrated von Frey filaments are applied in ascending order to the lateral area of the operated paw in order to detect the mechanical threshold in the operated versus unoperated hind limb. A painful response is defined as either rapid paw withdrawal, flinching and or paw licking upon filament stimulation. Ultimately, the development of mechanical allodynia in the operated leg compared to the unoperated side can be visualized by plotting mechanical threshold over time, which allows for the investigation of various molecular pathways or drug treatments following peripheral nerve injury. This method can help answer key questions in the field of peripheral nerve injury, such as molecular pathways involved in neuropathic pain development. Additionally, drugs aiming to impair pain development or alleviating pain symptoms can also be tested. Two days